Last updated 1408, November 2, 2017 After two weeks with Toro Rosso in Formula 1, Kiwi Brendan Hartley is back driving for Porsche and Shanghai this weekend. Brendan Hartley must quickly switch his focus back to endurance driving with Porsche after a whirlwind two weeks in Formula 1. The Kiwi Motorsport driver has been with Formula 1 Team Toro Rosso for the past two weeks as a replacement driver, but is now back with his World Endurance Championship Porsche for the eighth round of the series in Shanghai this weekend. Luckily the remaining rounds of the Formula 1 and WEC fall on alternating weekends so Hartley will be able to drive in both. That means he will be able to help win the WEC title with his teammates, fellow Kiwi Earl Bamber and German Timo Bernhard, with the final round of the series in Bahrain on November 16. Read more Hartley disappointed with Mexico exit Hamilton wins fourth F1 title McLaughlin humbled at McLaren's garage The final two rounds of Formula 1 are in Brazil on November 10-12 and Abu Dhabi on November 24-26. Despite all the recent hype around his Formula 1 drive, the 27-year-old Hartley had his mind on the job for the WEC this weekend. It's a busy time for me at the moment and I feel really good and excited, he said. The most important thing is to focus on the very next target. In Shanghai, together with Earl and Timo, we definitely want to secure the Drivers' World Championship title with our Porsche 919 Hybrid. The most recent 6 or race in Fuji did and t bring the results we were aiming for. Shanghai is a circuit that should suit our car and we have to have everything lined up there perfectly. The race this weekend will be the penultimate race for the Porsche LMP team and the Porsche 919 hybrids, after Porsche's decision to leave the WEC LMP1 class. If the Toyota team takes maximum points in China a race win from pole position is rewarded with 26 points Hartley and Co. need to finish the race in at least third position to clinch the Drivers' World Championship title. Bamber, Hartley and Bernhard have 172 points, with the second-place Toyota team behind them on 133, their Porsche sister car, driven by Neil Yanni Switzerland, Andre Lauterer Germany and Nick Tandy Great Britain, is fourth on 98. In the manufacturer's standings, Porsche leads with 270 points ahead of Toyota on 211.5 points. To secure the manufacturer's title, Porsche would need to have no less than a 44 points advantage after six hours of racing. Fonganu is Bamber was looking forward to this weekend's racing. To me Shanghai is a very good place to race and close to my hometown of Kuala Lumpur as well, Fonganu is Bamber said. I have raced many times in Shanghai. Good memories are closely connected to the Porsche Carrera Cup Asia that will be the support race for the WEC. This is where I started my Porsche career. Winning the championship in 2013 and 2014 helped to get me promoted as a works driver and soon after to LMP1, the cup is family to me. My 23-year-old brother Will is currently doing well in the championship and it will be nice to see him racing. Also this season one have been coaching six junior drivers and it will be good to take them to the LMP1 team and show them what we do. However, for us in Shanghai, the most important thing is to perform a good race and work on the championship title. Stuff.